Glass here with a little bit of a different setting for you today. I am shooting this in the summer and I am taking a break from the city and enjoying nature here on my porch and I spend a lot of time here in the summer knitting and creating and it's become a real sanctuary for me to be able to just sit and meditate usually in a rocking chair and work on my crafts. Summer is a really wonderful time for crafting in my opinion and I'm often drawn to embroidery in the summer. Now I did start this project that I'm going to show you in the winter but I finished it up in the summer and you know what motivated me is I decided to enter the county fair for the first time. So I've been attending the county fair for about six years and there's a section of the county fair that has needlework and gardening and just anything you can think of there's a section for it so I'm sure if you have ever been to a county fair you know this already but it's been a real revelation for me that this is a thing so let me just start by showing you what I'm going to tell you about so this is a chicken that I embroidered on my sweater some of you may remember this sweater, it's the Marshall, and I have a finished object video about this sweater that I will link to underneath this video so you can check it out. It's Brooklyn Tweed, and it's a Brooklyn Tweed pattern. I can't remember who designed this, I'm sorry, right now. I will put the name right here. Sometimes I just lob a Brooklyn Tweed pattern into Brooklyn Tweed and I forget that it's actually by an individual. That is something that I am guilty of for sure. In fact, funny side story, the very first year that I did Tell Me About Your Rhinebeck Sweater, I had knit a sweater from Brooklyn Tweed and didn't log in my brain that it was by Nora Gone. And so I'm wearing this sweater and Nora Gone comes up to me. I'm holding the sign that says, Tell Me About Your Rhinebeck Sweater. And Nora Gone walks up to me and says, Tell Me About Your Rhinebeck Sweater. And so that was a humbling moment for me and a learning opportunity for me to understand that, yes, it's important to know. Anyway, this is who designed this sweater, the Marshall. And you can see it's one of my favorite cardigans and I haven't been wearing it forever because I've been working on this embroidery. So let me show it to you. You can see it. This is called a woolly tattoo. And I first learned about woolly tattoos from Dottie Angel and she has these really cool tattoos on her sweaters. And then I saw one at Rhinebeck in 2018 on a sweater. And then I recently saw a weekender that had all of this embroidery up the middle and the sides. So beautiful. So this yarn came from Hugh Loco and it, she has a backyard chicken collection. And I ordered the Orpington and then a blue one. I can't remember what that was called. And I used the blue one in my Rhinebeck sweater 2018. And then I, and then I thought, well, this is inspired by chickens, so why don't I use it to make a chicken? So here is my chicken. I'll show you the yarn. I used all three colors that came in the backyard collection. It's named after an Orpington, so I went to the internet and found pictures of those chickens to inspire the embroidery. And here are the little minis that came with it. And then I had to add in some gray. This is from Stunning String Studio. So I needed a little bit of extra gray for the feet and some shading. And because I was really unhappy with the way my feet were coming together, I decided to add the grass from my inspiration picture as well. I still have some leftover cashmere from Plucky. I will not throw this away. I will use every last bit of it. And I love the idea that yarn gets reused in different projects. So that's really fun. So how did I attempt this is your next question. And I don't embroider a ton, but I have done some of the embroidery kits that you can get on eBay. I spend hours searching eBay for old kits. <laughs> it's a problem. And the only other thing that I've done that is as complex as this is a friend of mine, her dog passed away, and I took a picture of the dog and then recreated it on embroidery at about maybe one to two inches. So this was a really big project for me, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it happen if I couldn't get the facial features. So I started with the face and once I knew that the face was going to work, that it was going to happen, because see I think that really looks good, just in my opinion. I, I think I did a really good job. Oh, the red is from Ching Fibers. It's in my Jelly Roll sweater. I forgot about the red. I, I've recently, I sold that skein after I used it, so I don't have that to show you. But I thought once I can get that face to look realistic, I'm home free. 
So what I did after that is I basted the basic shape of the chicken based on the photograph that I was looking at that I got from the internet. So I sort of basted the different directions of how the feathers were going as kind of an outline. And then I just started embroidering it. And I did it by section. I went from head to tail and then I worked a little bit down into the feet. I got a little tired at the end, I have to admit, and I do feel like the chicken's shape got a little bit distorted. It was a little bit more up and down, like the neck and chest were more vertical and kind of more parallel to the tail. But I did the best I could freehand. I used a hoop for some of it, but the hoop didn't stay on very well because it's this thicker wool sweater and the amount of layering I did for these this feather effect was quite a lot, so the embroidery itself got really, really thick. But I'm really excited about it. I love the idea of woolly tattoos. This is going to be my new chicken cardigan. And I wanna try to work in a smaller format too. This was really big for a woolly tattoo. It's more of like an applique statement. But I just love the idea of making something your own because what's great about knitting is we can choose our yarn, we can choose our size, we can modify it however we want, but then we can add even more details like monograms, embroidery, woolly tattoos, appliques, whatever the case may be. So I just had to share that because it was my summer project and I'll let you know how I do at the county fair. Maybe there will be a little secret video at the end of this, at the end of this video showing you the results. We'll see. My first time. Okay. The county fair is over. This is the feedback that I got from the judge. Thank you for entering. Too many loose threads on inside. Fair for clean and neat. Fair for overall presentation. I'm pretty sad. I didn't think of it. I've never been very neat on the inside and I could have gone in and clipped some of these ends but I forgot and I was so excited. So here is what it came down to, in the end, you guys, it came down to this. This is what I was judged on. This is what I was judged on. This is not what I was judged on. So I'm super sad, but I'm still really proud of this chicken and I'm gonna wear it with pride, and I'm gonna leave those loose ends, because you know what? Those loose ends, they deserve a home too. Thanks for checking in to Christy Glass Knits, bye.